This is Dylan with Bulldog Rooter, and I'm at 2322 East Hoffman Avenue, Spokane, Washington, 99207. This is a sewer video inspection. I'm pushed all the way out to the city main, like you see here, pulling back on the property, or, well, still in the street, but pulling back towards the house. Uh, the city originally stuck six inch clay pipe or tile on the property. There, it looks like they just drilled a hole into the tile and stubbed this up to it and then poured a bunch of concrete around it. So you're seeing some excess concrete by this hub right here. And it's not the perfect transition, but the bottom of the pipe is on the top of the screen. So as I'm pulling back, just keep, your mind, uh, keep in mind that the water is, is on the bottom of the pipe whether it be at the top of my screen or not. Pulling back, um, clay pipe, nothing's perfect. Uh, you know, we're going to be seeing some offset joints. Um, every three foot section of pipe, generally, there's an, uh, a joint. Pulling back, this line is bellied. We, it doesn't have proper grade or there's something obstructing it. But we're under wastewater right now, and I have about an inch and a quarter inch and a half uh, diameter camera head. So this line's just, you flush into it, the water will fill up and drain out the other side, and all this waste and to uh, toilet paper will just build up throughout the line right there. So that's a pretty good section of, of bellied pipe. Uh, I don't see many roots. If anything, those might be roots, but they're really, really minor. Oh no, those are cobwebs. Pulling back. And again, we're not running any water, so this is stuff that you really shouldn't be seeing in the pipe if it was all properly graded. This is either originally laid like this, or over time the ground settles, or who knows what. This is pretty sludgy. You have quite a few bellies in your pipe. It's not very good. Yeah. Could you have just been upside down in the water? No. <laughs> No, it's just, I mean... Because it kept showing flashes at the top. As yeah, as I'm pulling back because it's moving the water. <laughs> um, like right here, like my camera's pretty much going fully submerged right there. Mm -hmm. The entire pipe's not holding water, but it's just, you know, a good section of pipe. And you can see all that nasty gunk. That's not clear water. We'll get it out of there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll run the heck out of the water when I'm all done and flush all that stuff out. So right here you see, um, it's not really belly, um, this stuff's slightly improperly graded, but I mean, you can see the offset in the tile pipe right here, holding up some of that sewage. Same here, there's about an offset joint in just about every one. This six inch tile will end right here, this is at about the property line right at the sidewalk, I'd guess. And we're pulling back on the property and everything on property is four inch orange bird. It's compressed tar paper sewer pipe. So what we're gonna see pulling back through here is some minor blistering. Um, I've seen a lot worse orange bird. So we've got some time to uh, possibly replace this or just continue to deal with it and um, save up money to replace it or abandon ship. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, you've seen the blistering. It's not too extreme. And as I'm pulling back too, oh, there's a worm. Hi, worm.
you see kind of the murky water, murky wastewater all throughout the pipe. <laughs> What's that dot game that you you like follow? You try to stay in between the lines, and then if you hit a line, or no matter how good you're doing, that scary chick pops up. It's freaking scary. <laughs> Is it still recording? Yeah. There you see the ovaling. <laughs> it's mostly for our records. And the excavation company. <laughs> um... Yeah, here you see some major ovaling. So this is a, a good spot where you can tell that the pipe is getting thinner and thinner. The ground is settling over the pipe and uh, it's ovaling. Eventually that will probably be the point that collapses. I mean, the pipe is, doesn't look too bad. It has, you know, it's certain spots. Continuing back. This is what I saw. Oh, yeah. Is that the plastic part of the tampon? No. The blue part. Yeah. I don't use blue part to tampon. That looks like the blue part that you like pull the feminine product out of. You know, I, I don't know 100%, but, no, but I don't I've those seen those. Mm -hmm. See? Or it's white, I don't know. <coughs> That's what that looks like. Pull out? Bring it up here. Let's yeah, see, it. see? You see it better? It is. Well, I've, I've only had this for four years, so tampons have been out for how many years? This gunk, I do not know 100% what it consists of, but... Can you get it out? Yes, I will be able to scour that. <gasps> yes. Up to the side. Um, this I'm is sure the... <laughs> I believe we're in cast iron. There's some plastic in the line. How does that stuff get down there? What is that? How would it even get down there? Let's get a better look. Like a from yeah, yeah. So we're back in cast iron. This right here is the transition from cast to Orangeburg. So I'm going to uh, end my video inspection right there. And I'm going to pull my cable back and scour the heck out of that stuff. And hopefully flush it out. Uh, Thank you for choosing Bulldog Rooter.